What's up guys, I've been running the Trinity kernel for the last few days and I wanted to make a video of its performance and just generally how well it does in battery life. So the first thing I want to do is open up the Trinity toolbox here and show you the default settings. So the maximum default setting here for CPU is 1458. Now, the default for the Nexus 4 in general is actually 1512. So you can see by default, the uh, Trinity kernel comes down clocked which is quite interesting to note. You can see it uses on-demand and row as its I.O. scheduler, and we're also under-vaulted by default as well on the Trinity kernel. Now, even though it's slightly downclocked from the uh, maximum CPU value we should be running on the uh, Nexus 4, I've got to say this is the best performance I've seen on the Nexus 4. Let me open a few apps here. You can just see how quick this is. It, it is lightning fast, even downclocked. Opening apps here is an absolute breeze. Everything seems a little bit smoother than it was before. Really nice, even though it's actually down clocked. So that is very, very impressive from the Trinity kernel in terms of performance. And hands down, it is the best performance I've seen on my Nexus 4 without a doubt. Now, let's check out the battery life. And I, I did some uh, testing on the battery life here. So the first time I installed it, it got four hours, 24 minutes, you can see there, with a standby time of 12 hours, 24 minutes. And I've got to say, that's not bad. It's better than stock. Stock gets about three and a half hours with the same standby time. So you're still getting about an extra hour of screen on here. Um, you're not getting the same battery life I got on Fox's kernel, which was five hours with a ridiculous standby time. And... You know, it's kind of a weighing up sort of thing. It depends what you're going to want. If you want pure performance with enhanced battery life, Trinity is where it's at. If you want complete control over the kernel and you want better battery life, then Foxes is going to be where it's at because Foxes has stuff like eco mode where it can turn off two cores and it has some in different governors like IntelliDemand that saved more battery life for me. Um, now, if you're going to ask me which one I'm going to stick with at the moment, it's going to be Trinity. And the reason is it gives me a few options that I like here. I like the fact that you can uh, undervolt it more, which uh, saves more heat. If we go over here and check out my heat, we can see we're sitting at 22 degrees, which isn't very high at all. I still think I'm probably, I mean, th those tests, by the way, on my battery were completely on Wi-Fi. So I definitely did get a bit better battery life out of Fox's kernel. But the performance on Trinity is literally to die for. You know, it's the best I've seen. It's, it is definitely smoother than Foxes, and it performs better in games than Foxes as well. So take that into account. You can just see how smooth everything is. There is no lag here whatsoever, guys. It is very, very smooth. And definitely in terms of performance, Trinity is where it's at. So, yeah, that's the Trinity kernel for the Nexus 4. 